Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Jonathan back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's in my drumstick bag. But before we get into this video, if you haven't checked out my last video, which was 7 Second Challenge, make sure to go ahead and go check that video out. You guys seemed to really like it, and it was a really fun video to film, so make sure to go check that video out if you haven't already, and let me know if you want me to do more cool challenges like that one. Another thing before we get into this video, if you remember my friend Nathan Bales, which has been in a, he's been in a couple of my videos before, and he's a really good friend of mine, and he has a YouTube channel also called Nathan Bales, and during this time of quarantine, we've been making some videos on his channel um, where we do a Zoom call, a Zoom, fa uh, Zoom video call, um, and we're making a drumline cadence, so how we're doing that is... Where there's like different drum rudiments on like on like a spinner, so we spin a spinner, and whatever that that lands on, then we do that and put it into a cadence. So that's like a four-part series. Uh, uh, part four, I do believe, drops today on his channel. So make sure to go check that that uh, series out. It's a really good series, and also subscribe to his channel. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and get in this video. And, and just a second, one more thing, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe um, and leave a like on this video. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this video where I'm showing you my drumstick bag. So this is my drumstick bag. It's a really big drumstick bag. The brand is Vizcaya. I think that's how you pronounce that, Vizcaya. I got this drumstick bag for Christmas. It's a really big drumstick bag. Um, this is actually my second drumstick bag I've had before. So that's my actually my second drumstick bag I've had before, and this is what this was my first drumstick bag that I had. It has a rip in it now, so I really needed a, another one. So this was this is definitely a, a smaller one than the drumstick bag I have now. So once again, this is my drumstick bag now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what is in my drumstick bag. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with this front pouch. Here's the front pouch. So what's in here? We get in here it's just a like a strap that you can attach to the stick bag that you can like put it over your shoulder or something so that's what's in the front package of it so we're gonna go ahead and move into what's inside of the stick bag and here is inside of the stick bag so I have nine pairs of sticks and and if you want to count the brushes these are brushes then I have 10 pairs of sticks. So yeah, so let's go ahead and show you, um, before I show you the sticks, let me show you what's in this pouch right here. So what's in this pouch? We have a bunch of different things actually. We have some cymbal felts, which if you don't know what cymbal felts are, they basically they go on they go on your cymbal stands and they basically help keep the cymbal in place and not from war from warping the cymbal. So there I have two cymbal felts in there just in case you never know when you need one. I got a cymbal wing nut which is the thing that keeps the cymbal on this stand. I've got a drum key, so this tunes your toms and anything like that. Toms and snare, and then I've got second sorry I dropped it I've got another drum key because you never know and I do believe that that's it in this front pouch yeah and well in the inside pouch and yeah so let's go ahead and move on to the sticks so like I said I have nine pairs of sticks ten if you can if you count the brushes let's go ahead and start with these sticks over here all right so the first pair of sticks that I have over here are SD ones so basically these are used for snare drum I mean you can use them for drum set but they're not they're not drum set set sticks I just use these for snare drum I play with my practice pad and on an actual snare drum of course and then next pair I also have another pair of SD ones but these are my older pairs of SD ones you can kind of tell newer older these ones are all beat up and the tips are like all messed up and stuff so that's my second pair in there then my next pair is a fairly new pair. I've I haven't had them for too awful long. 
But these are my Hickory American Classic Vic Firth Rock Sticks. So, drum set rock sticks. Pretty cool, if I say so myself. They're really good sticks. They're really thick. And my next pair that I have are just normal drum set sticks. Then another pair, the, the last two pairs are the basically they're the same sticks. Um, they're first act, these were actually, fun fact, my first sticks that I ever got. Like these are just the same, so um, they're really beat up and stuff. I don't really use them anymore because, number one, they're not the best brand. Um, no offense, but first act. But these were my starting drumsticks. Like, look at the tip of that. That's not good. But these were my my first two pairs of drumsticks. They're the same pair. So they're just really beat up, and I don't really use them too much anymore. All right, let's move on to the brushes. So if you don't know what brushes are, I'm going to show you. So brushes are a really different kind of, of drumstick. First, these are Regal, Regal Tip Yellow Jacket brushes, and they're used for jazz. So you would play on the snare, and you don't. It's not just for snare, but you use it for main, for mainly mainly for jazz. And this is what they look like when you put them out like this. You can make them tight like that if you pull these. So this is how you get them out like that, and you make them really big if you push the thing all the way in. But yeah, like I said, they're just really a different kind of uh, pair of sticks. Um, but they they're used for jazz. So there you go. There's your drumming fact for the day. All right, so here is my other, my last three pair of sticks. So these sticks are different than my other sticks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So these pairs of sticks are you. I use them for uh, for electric drum set, which is the kit that my my church has. We have an electric drum set, so I use them when I play at my church. Um, and they're just kind of a different kind of pairs of drumsticks. These ones are. I got these at a concert. Uh, they're, they're Newsboys United, News, Newsboys United sticks. They have Newsboys United right there, and they have the white tips. So I just really use these for electric kit. Uh, I don't really want to tear them up or anything, and I I think it's better to use uh, electric uh, use these sticks for electric kit. That's that's what I like to do. Um, and my next pair of sticks that I use for electric kit is Toby Mac sticks. These are, he's a, he's another one of my favorite artists. Um, this is from his newest album, The Elements. And these ones don't have the white tips, but I still just use them for electric kit because I don't want to beat them up or anything. And then here is my final pair of sticks. It's another pair of Toby Mac sticks. They have white tips. This is the This Is Not A Test drumsticks from, oh, sorry. This is This Is Not A Test drumsticks from another one of his albums. They're kind of, the paint's kind of starting to come off of them, but I really also like to use these for electric kit. It's probably my go-to sticks when I play with on an electric kit. Um, so yeah. All right, so once again, this is just an overall pick of every pair of drumstick and everything that's in my drumstick bag and I challenge you other drummers all my other drummers watching to make a video um, for what is in your stick bag because this is a really fun video to make I have a lot of sticks in my stick bag I have a lot of sticks in my stick bag uh, 10 pairs to be exact and yeah so I'm still as a drummer still gonna be adding different things to my to my stick bag and Maybe someday in the future I'll make an update of what's in my stick bag. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, so I just want to tell you guys, with everything going on right now, um, with all this COVID-19 pandemic happening, it's, it's sometimes easy to just really just have like a mental breakdown. Because it's hard because we're not, we're all all just bored and not able to do much, not able to go anywhere really. School just got canceled for the rest of the year for us. We're just going to be doing e-learning now. So that's really big. I feel for all those seniors out there that are not going to be able to really finish their senior year on a good note. Um, so just know, just look for something good in this whole situation because I feel like 
God did this uh, for a reason. He did this to challenge us um, and to just no, tell us to just take uh, t take some time off from our normal schedules. Um, and yeah, so that's going to go ahead and lead me to my Bible verse of the video, which is from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Here we go. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. One more time. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. So I just want you guys to think about that as you go through the rest of your week. Um, and I'm just trying to stay busy uploading videos. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but I just hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like on it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share these videos to your friends and family. And I will see you in the next one, which is going to be Reacting to Funny Sports Vines, Episode 4. See you then. Peace.